This is Legionnaire. This guy was a legendary pro gamer who lived in Korea. He's Australian. Excellent StarCraft 2 player as well. Although I think he didn't spend that much time competing in the game. So you guys get an idea of, of, of who this is that's posting this. This guy actually had the record in Reaver kills in, in a professional tournament. I think he might still have that. So remember how I do this stuff. I think it, I drop it, then select both and right-click a target. Select the shuttle, spin it back uh, around and pick up the Reaver. That way the shuttle never loses speed. You can get the timing perfect so it spins and picks it up just as it fired. Most of it is just experience and the timing of knowing when it's about to shoot and then doing everything else around that. A few, fall, a few small things to, uh, to do, uh, drop it behind the minerals. Make sure it is right on him. That way it will fire through the minerals instead of going around. Yeah, I've experienced this myself. Otherwise, drop it on the other side. Zealot goon drop uh, and reaver is good as you can take out quite a lot of tanks by drawing the fire away. Also, if you see a lone tank sieged up, just drop it near and it dies before they can do anything. There are so many games you can win from harassing just knowing where you can drop safely, and every unit you kill is a bonus. After some practice, you will see situations where you uh, could take on three or four tanks uh, and know uh, you will win the fight. I think there are some games with Art of Terran where I killed five plus tanks with one Reaver and a Zealot. I remember one uh, with seven kills, and that was an instant game winner. So yeah, it's not necessary to go only after SCVs. Normally you can get them uh, anyway, after you knock some tanks off. Uh, and if they focus so much on defense to stop the Reaver, they won't have much to stop the attack um, from the front. Every mini successful raid, sorry, after every mini successful raid, just move the shuttle around a little. They'll be focused on it and go back and build more stuff at your main before refocusing on your harass harassing units. So this was a post from 2005. Excellent work in Fezzo. So let's just try this out. I think I know what he's talking about, and I think I do it, but I don't think I actually know that I'm doing it. Now, Snow is probably the best example of somebody who has just done insane things with Reavers. But I feel like I see him do the exact same click maneuvering that we see there. So the control, drop it, select both. So when he says both, he means the shuttle and the reaver. Right-click on the target, select the shuttle, spin it back around to pick it up. So let's let's just pretend we're dropping here. Unload, attack, click, click it back in like that. So let's say I'm moving through here, like that. That's how we do it. So you're always grabbing both. Just like that. And then in order to get something here, we want to attack through the minerals. That's probably not close enough, but let's get it like closer like this. All right, so that one doesn't go through. Let's try on the other side. Like that, like that. So because the reaver's that close, It'll fire through. Now, it, I guess it's not 100%, right? So come in, drop it, select it, put the reaver back in. Does he say how to um, select the shuttle, spin it back around to pick up the reaver? And I think you want to actually click the reaver itself. So what, what, what happens when I do this? So, okay, so what I do is, is, I, is I drop, I attack, move it, I turn the shuttle... Turn the shuttle around as it spins like that, and as it fires, I remake the scarab and pick it back up. All right, I love learning stuff like this. This is so sick.